Welcome to the land of the rising sun, where the vibrant culture, ancient traditions, and modern technology collide into a stunningly beautiful and unique experience. From the bustling metropolis of Tokyo to the serene temples of Kyoto, Japan is a country that will leave you in awe. Explore the neon lit streets of Shinjuku, indulge in some mouth watering street food, and immerse yourself in the vibrant nightlife. Take a ride on the busiest train station in the world, witness the iconic cherry blossoms, and relax in a ryokan. With so much to see and experience, Japan is a country that will capture your heart and leave you longing for more. So come and explore this incredible destination and discover the magic of Japan for yourself. Discover the history and culture of Japan as you visit the ancient temples of Nara, the stunning Osaka Castle, and the peaceful gardens of Kyoto. In this series of videos, join me, my mom and brother, in exploring Japan and Korea for 24 days during the Sakura season. This first episode is our flight from Chicago O'Hare to Aneda International Airport. In ANA's roomy and famous business class, The Room, we'll show you around United Polaris Lounge and up to our affordable hotel rooms in Tokyo. Watch out for travel tips and tricks and make sure to like and subscribe for the next videos. This is Starlines Gold Track, and you can access it if you have Starlines Gold or if you're flying premium. So, we are going to the United Airlines. So, I'm going to go to the United Airlines. So, I was originally planning to bring my mom and brother to the newly opened United Club Lounge in O'Hare, but since we upgraded our flight, we are just gonna go visit United Polaris. This is United Airlines First Class Lounge. For you to access this lounge, you. you need to fly business or first class in any of the Star Alliance member airlines. This lounge has better amenities than the United Club Lounge, and here you can take a shower, you have better options for food, you have a buffet, and you also have a dining room where you can order food from a menu. It's like a restaurant, but we opt for the buffet. It's just so much easier in the buffet section. You have like warm and cold options like French onion soup, Flemish stew. You have a salad bar with cold cuts and cheese. You have sandwiches and desserts. It's different every few months. But this time I opted for French onion soup and some pasta with orzo and a Flemish stew. Dito, excited ka ba for dito? A couple of minutes before our flight, we decided to go to our gate and look who I found. Tamiyo! I found Tamiyo. Tamiyo used to work with me in the hospital and now he works in the airport. It was so nice to see Tamiyo and now we are entering the aircraft. This is ANA's newest configuration for their B777-300 ERs. Currently, they have 15 B777s, but only 9 out of 15 have this configuration. The first class seats and the business class seats have a 1 2 1 configuration with the first two rows belonging to the first class seats and the rows 5 to 20 for business class seats. You can easily confuse the business class as first class seats because it's quite roomy. It has a 24 inch monitor for in flight entertainment and the bed is like a single bed. Almost twice the size of other business class seats. <laughs> Alternate your water or juice with your alcoholic drinks or else you'd be dehydrated at the end of your flight. And while everyone's boarding, I'll give you a tour of my room. Here you have a small cabinet for your stuff. You also have a USB port and an outlet. And here you have your table, you can pull it like so, it's nice and clean and it's bigger than most business class tables. Right beside the table you have a small compartment for small gadgets. Also, even if you're a frequent flyer, make sure to review your in-flight safety instructions because airplanes are configured differently. Left and right you have an extra USB port and a couple of headphone jacks for your 
noise canceling headphones. Here's your door button and coat hook. And on your side table, you have your automatic controls for your bed, your IFE remote, and your buttons for your lamps. Swipe on your touchscreen IFE remote to control your cursor. This touchscreen remote control looks very similar to Asiana's business IFE remote as well. It looks complicated, but you can play with it and don't worry you're not gonna break it we got lucky to have a very helpful and amazing flight attendant there she is i love that you can close this cubby and still use the usb port and the outlet and charge your electronics there's our cool flight attendant helping my mom with a selfie you have enough room underneath for your giant shoes i am 5'9 tall but i can be as tall as people who claim they are six feet <laughs> One thing about this configuration is that some of the seats are rear-facing and some people might have a problem with that if they're not used to it. I was a flight attendant and sometimes my jump seat would be rear-facing and I assure you it just feels the same. It might be weird for the first two minutes but once you're in the air it doesn't feel differently. The only difference and probably the most important difference is that if you are facing forward during an emergency crash landing, you kind of have to bend over and protect your head. But if you are rear facing, you kind of have to make sure that your head is firmly resting on the headrest. This way you could avoid having some serious whiplash injury, but if you are in a plane attempting an emergency crash landing, that's probably the least of your concerns. Also, if you love taking videos of engines during takeoff and landing, rows 18 and 19 is not for you. You might want to take rows 5 to 10 to get better shots. My mom is in 18C and my brother is in 19A and they have a view of a giant wing. Bye. The sliding doors and dividers are great, but it might not be for you if you are claustrophobic. If you are claustrophobic, you can just easily push the divider and the sliding door back to where it came from. In-flight entertainment is great with a 24-inch TV and kids mode if you are traveling with kids you can easily control what they see while you are enjoying your usual movies and shows the in-flight amenity kit comes with a shoehorn slippers globetrotter pouch with products from shiro and it has a yuzu lip balm and a yuzu facial mist you have earplugs you also have an eye mask you also have a card from Globetrotter. They have it looks like they have a flagship store in London and Ginza. I am surprised with the quality of the pouch that I actually used it while traveling all over Japan and Korea. It looked great with my kimono in Kyoto as well. I love the Yuzu lip balm and Yuzu facial mist from Shiro. It smells really good and energizing. And just when I thought it couldn't get any better, here comes the menu curated by chefs and food and beverage experts all over Japan. You have great options from sake to shochu to champagne, castel no from rice. You also have wines from all over the world. You can have Centauri World Whiskey. You have a good selection of cocktails, spirits. You have beers, non-alcoholic drinks. And probably the best part of the experience for me is that they made me feel like I'm eating a kaiseki meal in a modern ryokan. You can also order snacks or light dishes in between your meals anytime you want. And I ordered some plant-based ramen from Ipudo and it was so good. Great job and kudos to this team of food and beverage experts. It was good. Another worth mentioning is the window blinds. They have a paper blind and another darker shade. It was so nice. During the in-flight service, I ordered Champagne Castelno. It's a dry champagne and it was really good.
One of the main reasons I don't watch movies in cinemas anymore is so that I can watch them in my long haul flights. I am currently watching Black Panther while eating probably the most expensive edamame beans I have ever had in my life. The most expensive edamame and mushrooms I've ever had. I love the appetizers, the mushrooms were slightly tart, it's probably some kind of vinegar or citrus, and the edamame beans were perfectly seasoned. They tasted like edamame beans. It was good. Did you hear my flight attendant's voice? She's so cute. So I ordered the Japanese food for my first meal and they served smoked salmon and cream cheese rolled with cabbage, deep fried scallop with egg yolk, marinated shrimp and soy based sauce, simmered sweet potato and lemon juice. They also served seared tuna in poached squid salad style with ginger dressing. The dressing is really good. They also served green pea tofu topped with grated ginger and ikura or salmon roe. This is the seared tuna. If it's good, usually my eyebrows raise up like that. This is the shrimp. My eyebrows went up, so I guess it's good as well. This is the poached squid. Because this is an airplane food, I was expecting the squid to be gummy, but I was surprised that it was actually very soft. This is the deep fried scallop. This scallop was deep fried, but it wasn't oily i don't know how they did it maybe it's air fried or something and it wasn't fishy at all it has a clean taste to it it goes well with the ginger sauce the dishes were decorated with hearts and it was so cute the hearts were made of radish this is broccoli rab and it tasted like broccoli rab this is the smoked salmon rolled with cream cheese and cabbage it was pretty good I love that the salmon was not very smoky and it worked very well with the cream cheese and the cabbage. This is the green pea tofu topped with ikura, a heart shaped radish and grated ginger. The tofu was nice and sweet and I love that the ginger was there because ikura can be a little fishy and salty and it kind of uh, gave it the, a good balance of flavor. This is one thing I love about traditional Japanese food is that you get to taste a lot of flavors in a serving. After the first few dishes, we are going to get the main course. And the main course in Japan is usually fish, rice, some kind of miso soup, and chukimono or pickles. And in this flight, that's what we got. We have grilled gold striped amberjack fish with soy based sauce, some steamed rice, miso soup, and Japanese pickles. The salt content of the fish worked very well with the plain white rice, and the pickles worked like a palate cleanser, while the soup is like a big warm hug in a bowl. This is what a typical Japanese breakfast would look like if you are in Japan. You would think that the whole plane would smell like fish with all the fish that's being served in this airline, but it doesn't smell like fish at all. I don't know what they did. And for dessert, I chose the cheese plate. I love that they served it with a chocolate truffle. I love chocolate truffles and flights. For some reason, airlines have a 
great talent for looking for the best chocolate truffles to serve in the airplane. The cheese plate is really good too. You can't really mess this up, but you can make it better if you serve triple cream cheese with slices of truffles. That's so good. This jam is really good. It works well, it paired well with the cheese and the only thing that could make this better is a really good French salted butter. This one is for you. By this time I am very full. I'm just trying to finish everything and in a couple of seconds I'm gonna show you the lavatory. Lavatory tour. Let's go. This is ANA's lavatory and it's very clean and it's also very new. This is recently renovated. This is a new cabin from 2019 so it still looks nice and clean and white and new. You have a motion activated sink that you can control the temperature. You have your toothbrush, everything here. You have a nice textured wall. You have your smoke alarm. It's nice and clean. And what I love most about this is the bidet and the step garbage compartment. Because who doesn't want a touch free garbage can in a pandemic? Now I'm going to show you the biggest bed I've ever had in any airline so far. It's very easy to set up. You just press the buttons and it's going to lie flat like this. And then you can close your sliding door and your window to have the room to yourself. Look at this room. It's almost like having a single bed in the airplane. And if you have seen my other travel videos, you, have, you probably saw the other business class seats where the seats are kind of narrow. This ramen is a vegetable based ramen from Ipudo. And if you've been in Japan, you I'm pretty sure you're going to love Ipudo. A lot of people go there. It's a very famous for their ramen. And I also like Ipudo, but there's a catch. For me, I'm not a big fan of Ipodo noodles because I am a big fan of curly chewy noodles and Ipodo's noodles is straight and sometimes it can get mushy but as I have said before I still like Ipodo noodles I just prefer the curly and chewy noodles so ANA serves their Ipodo their plant-based Ipodo ramen with some seaweed and some spicy chili sauce if you love spicy i love spicy sauce so i put everything in my bowl and for me the best part of an ipodo ramen is the soup because i don't know what they do with their soup but it's nice and creamy this one has a texture of a tonkatsu broth but it's not tonkatsu it's plant-based i don't know what they did but it's so good in this flight, you do have a lot of options for snacks that you can order after and before your first and last meal. You can order light dishes like warm barbecue chicken focaccia, beef and mushroom curry with steamed rice for the New York and Chicago routes, rice bowl and ginger fried pork for San Francisco route. And you can also order soup like corn soup, kainoya vegetable soup, you can order ramen like this Ipodo plant-based ramen. You can all you can also order cheese, ice cream, fruits, yogurt, cereal, mixed nuts, rice crackers, and biscuits. But seriously, if you are being offered a plant-based Ipodo ramen, you have to try this one. If you close your eyes, if you don't know that this is a plant-based ramen, you would think that this is a tonkatsu ramen. It's so weird. By the way, if you are eating in Japan and one of your hosts asks you how's the food, you have to say mecha oishi. It means very delicious. 
or is she if it's delicious? If you tell them it's Mecha Oishi, they'd be very happy. After watching another movie, it's time again to stuff my face for the last in-flight meal. And guess what I ordered? Japanese meal. I ordered Japanese food. Of course, I love Japanese food. My mom and brother ordered the lasagna with tomato sauce. Here's my nice flight attendant, she's so nice. And this is the meal. I have simmered white cognac noodles and spicy fish roe, simmered mackerel and Japanese plum and soy based sauce with steamed rice, miso soup, and tokimono or Japanese pickles. The cognac noodles, the cognac and cognac noodles is arrowroot starch. It's made of arrowroot starch and it's usually clear and bouncy. Look at my flight attendant running around like a cartoon character. Isn't she cute? She's so cute. I just kind of feel bad for her because it's a full flight and she's running around too much. This meal has a stronger flavor than the previous one because it's mackerel and mackerel is usually fishy, but I'm surprised because the whole plane doesn't smell like fish. I don't know what they did. It's so weird. This one is simmered with Japanese plum and soy base sauce and it, I was kind of expecting it to be very salty. It's kind of salty, but not overpowering salty. It works well with the plain white rice. I love that the plum is nice and tart. And that sourness also kind of counters and balances the salt content of the dish. I love the cognac noodles with mentaiko. I'm a big fan of spicy fish roe with my noodles. I love it so much with stir-fried noodles with a little bit of Japanese mayo. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be so much better if it's just freshly prepared. But this dish is also nice because I'm a just I'm just a big fan of mentaiko. This meal has a lot of fish components and I love that they serve this with tokimono and especially the ginger chukimono because it cleanses the palate very well. Also, if you are very thankful, if you really mean it that you are thankful for the food that you receive, it's only a good idea for you to finish every last drop. After this meal, we are going to prepare to land soon, so it's only a good idea to freshen up a little bit. Usually, it would be a nice idea to bring like a face mask or your daily facial routine, but for you to fly comfortably, it should you should just use the bare minimum. Like this refreshing yuzu facial mist from Shiro and the yuzu lip balm from Shiro. It's so nice. I love the scent. A few moments later, we are 3,000 feet closer to the Earth on top of Japan. Don't you just love that the newer models of airplanes have onboard cameras that you can see outside during landing? This is Haneda International Airport. Touchdown. We landed around 9.37 p.m. and we got to the gate around 9.50 and by 10 o'clock we were at the immigration area. Before we arrived, we uploaded our documents, especially our COVID vaccine certificates to the Visit Japan web, but currently right now, it looks like you don't need it anymore. Check the Visit Japan web website just to be sure. We cleared immigration in 30 minutes and got to the taxi stand by 11 o'clock. There was a long line, so it took us more than a few minutes to grab a taxi and got to our hotel around midnight. Actually, that was just me. My mom and brother end up in a different hotel. I don't know what they did, but oh well. So I end up walking to the wrong hotel that they went to so I can get them checked in the right hotel. And guess what? This is only one of the problems. One of the many problems that we are going to encounter for the next few weeks. Ten years later. But we're not very hungry, so we just stop by. 7-Eleven. Tuna mayo, always the best.
kami ano lasa masarap yung egg sandwich ng Japan nun, no? As for hotels, APA is usually a good choice for me because they are not that expensive and it's pretty standard. The only thing is, they have a complicated faucet. This one's for the shower. This one's for the sink. And this one's to control the temperature. I love small details like this and the bidet function. The rooms are tiny, but you have enough space under the bed for your luggage. Good night and thank you so much for watching this video. See you in our next vlog.